People like to do business with people they trust. Whether you are selling a $5 product or a $5 million product, people like to do business with people they trust. We're gonna talk about overcoming financial barriers in Jamaica. If you are somebody who you weren't born in means, you weren't born with access, you weren't born with assets, you were kind of just born, but you know, you have this hunger and this drive in order to succeed. I wanna talk to you today. I'm gonna give you five things that you need to do if you are going to really make it in this country or even have a chance of making it in this country. I'm gonna give you five things that we need to talk about. Before we start, I know that we have some new family members over here. You don't really know my story, and I'm not gonna tell you, not because I don't want to, but because it's very long. So I'm gonna give you like a quick synopsis just to tell you that I am somebody who also did not grow up with links. I didn't inherit anything, literally. I was given anything, you know? So whatever I have right now, I have built on my own and I have made a lot of mistakes trying to navigate this space that's called Jamaica, you know? Essentially, there are some things that you have to know if you're going to have a chance of making it in this country. And it's very absolutely necessary. I learned some of this the hard way having made all the mistakes and having gone through all of this and this is what i want to talk to you about today i have them here on my phone i came with notes because i didn't want to miss anything and i just did a video about this on my instagram the first thing is that you need to have a great network and remember i'm talking to people who didn't grow up with this network so what it means is you're going to have to build your own network you're going to have to build it from scratch what I will do is I will tell you that it is absolutely possible. I built out a great network all on my own. And guess what? You don't have to have money or you don't have to come from a certain place in order to do this. Because guess what? Guys, you're representing the Three West. I'm a Three West girl in Portmore. Rich people were not my neighbors. So I had to create my network for myself and I had to do it from a position of being broke. That's just the fact, just being broke. Because I was able to do it, I'm able to tell you that it is entirely possible. But you're going to have to be strategic. You can't just say, you know, you're manifesting a good network. That's not how that works. You're going to have to be strategic. Who are the people you need to know? Or what kind of people do you need to know? Where can I meet these people? And you intentionally put yourself in these places. You make sure you open up your mouth and you talk. That is how you build a network, but you're going to have to build a network if you're going to break through the financial barriers in this space called Jamaica. You're going to have to build a network. In Jamaica, links run the country. In fact, links run the world. Whether you want to accept it or not, it's not a Jamaican thing. Links run the world. People like to do business with people they trust. Whether you are selling a $5 product or a $5 million product, People like to do business with people they trust. And if I've been able to hang out with you, if I have a sense of your personality and your morals and your values, and I believe in your morals and values, you're much more likely to get me to do business with you. That's just human nature. So if you want to increase your net worth or you want to start earning more money, you're going to have to talk to more people. I get it that you may have social anxiety. I get that you may have just regular anxiety. I am somebody with regular anxiety and I am somebody who used to have bad social anxiety. Guys, when I tell you that I used to deliberately avoid people because talking to people would give me anxiety. Just talking to people, no matter who you are, just talking to anybody rich poor broke in between i would just have anxiety but it's after i started working the last law firm that i worked at and i realized that i had to talk to clients there's no going around it that's when i started breaking out of it and what fixed it was that i was talking to more and more people so it was just practice that got me out of it if you're struggling with social anxiety or you're struggling with anxiety you need to deliberately put yourself i know it sounds bad and it sounds weird but it's just is the truth you need to put yourself in these situations where you have to talk to people and just talk to more and more people 
the more practice you get the better you feel and the less anxiety you have i still have anxiety i don't have social anxiety too much anymore but i still have anxiety just regular anxiety but it does not hinder my ability to make money because i'm not going to allow anxiety to hinder my ability to thrive right so that's the first thing you need to know you're going to have to build a proper network a strong network and it's very possible to do it on your own without money without you know starting with a bag of links right the next thing that i would say that you need to do just remember that i'm a girl on the internet i'm just a girl on the internet so either you're going to see some value in what i'm saying and you apply it to your own life or you're not going to see any value and do apply it to your own life that's completely okay i'm just sharing some stuff with you but what i say what i think is that if you're going to break through the financial barriers of jamaica it would be best for you to focus on skills to be honest with you to focus on skills some sort of skills i think when people say skills people tend to think that that means that you have to be a plumber or you have to be an electrician guys those are just two examples what i do as a job right now is a skill coaching it's a skill <laughs> Coaching is a skill. What I do now, I did not go to school for. I don't have a degree in anything that I do right now. What I do have a degree in, I don't do. So my point is, you need to find a skill and you need to really learn the skill. You need to really master the skill. This part is very important. You need to master the skill. Go on Google and see what free courses they have. Harvard? Yes, Harvard, the Harvard has some free courses. You can look to see which courses you can take to better your skill. Or you can go on Google, as I said, Google the company offers courses too. You can look to take those courses. Or YouTube, or TikTok, ChatGPT. Ask it some questions and it will help you master your skill. But you need to really make sure you're good at it. And then you need to market the crap out of yourself. Because it makes no sense you're good at something and the world doesn't know, right? The world needs to know that you're good at it so that you can get validated. Validation is very important when it comes to skills and making money. Not necessarily in terms of you need validation to believe you're beautiful, that's not good. But if you want to make money and you want to become, you know, somebody who's respected in your field, you need to be validated by the general public or by the people who are benefiting from your skill. Pick a skill, focus on the skill, master the skill, and then watch your money grow, honey. Watch your money grow. If you want to break through the financial barriers, trust me this is the way to go but you don't have to trust me because remember i'm just a girl on the internet don't don't ever forget that take everything i teach you with a grain of salt the next thing that you need to know if you're going to break through the financial barriers of jamaica is you need to make sure you protect your reputation you need to make sure you have as clean a reputation as possible i have a brother he's um, my youngest sibling and i talk to him about this all the time i tell him all the time listen you need to make sure that you keep yourself out of cast cast. You're not supposed to sit up on the internet to argue with nobody back and forth. Keep yourself out of that. Keep yourself out of money problems, you know, money cast cast. Keep yourself out of law breaking cast cast. You need to try to keep your reputation as clean as possible because you don't want your name to be dinged by something like this. Jamaica's a very small place. It's very small and it takes literally less than a minute to destroy something that you've spent 10 years building. So you need to protect that. You need to protect it as much as possible because remember what I said, people do business with people they trust. And if you have an uh, reputation, they're probably not going to trust you enough to do business with you. You need to bear that in mind. So do what you need to do to take care of your reputation. Mind your own business, drink your water and mind your own business. I know, sounds simple, but it's fast. Drink your water and mind your own business. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at, got it? The next tip, which is your fourth tip, guys, you need to invest in financial literacy. How are you playing the game of wealth and you don't know the rules of the game? How do you expect that you're going to win this game and you don't even know the rules of the game? How are you playing and you don't know the rules? You see how weird that sounds? You have to learn the rules of the financial space. Right? If you are trying to become a multi-millionaire, you need to first understand things like inflation. You need to understand things like compound interest. You need to understand how the stock market works. You need to understand what you need to be investing in. You need to understand how insurance works. You know why? Have you ever met a wealthy person, a really wealthy person who has avoided insurance completely 100%? 
they more than likely have some sort of insurance protection in some way, shape, or form. So if the wealthy are doing this, don't you think it's something that you need to look to do if you have a goal of being wealthy, right? You need to invest in financial literacy, financial education, if you are going to make it big. If you're gonna break through these barriers, you have to learn. You can't be earning all this money from step two that I just taught you. And then it just goes down the drain because you're not financially literate. Do you see how you're not breaking through any barriers? You're going to just end up back in step one, right? So you have to invest in financial literacy. What are some of the things you can do? Read some books, <laughs> watch some YouTube videos, watch some TikToks, listen to the news, read financials. I'm not telling you anything that's brand new. I'm just telling you things that you know, but you haven't been doing because it's not interesting to you. But is keeping your money interesting to you? Because if that's interesting to you, better make financial literacy interesting to you, right? The last tip that I have for you, this is something that has really helped me, is that you need to put yourself in places where you can be inspired. Guys, almost every year I meet somebody who challenges what I think the ultimate standard of life is. Almost every year I meet somebody like that and it's always so mind-blowing to me because I will think that, guys, my goals are so big so massive and then i meet somebody who just let my goals be like you're not even trying go back to the drawing board but i wouldn't have known that if i didn't meet these people and how i meet these people, people ask me this all the time whether it's my dating life or my friendship life or my business life people ask me this all the time like where do you meet these people guys i don't go anywhere special first of all i don't even go out too tough i don't go parties i don't I think a gold person, but I meet these people in regular places. Like I go get coffee, I meet some people in coffee shops. So I meet some people in the airport. Like when I'm overseas and walking by the beach or the ocean, I meet some people. Or I'll be in a store and I meet some people. Or I meet in a restaurant, I meet some people. I meet people all over the place. But it's how you approach it, right? So let me tell you, if you are in the space that I think you are in, meaning the space that I used to be in when I first started my journey, you get intimidated by people who you see as the gold standard. And if you get intimidated, you're not gonna want to talk to them. That's how you are, if you are anything like how I was. And if you are like that, this is what I'll tell you to help you. They are just people, regular people. Regular, regular, their breath stinks if they don't brush their teeth. Their breath stinks. You are idolizing these people and their breast stinks. If they don't brush their teeth, their breast stinks. They can't be that godlike then, can they? They're just normal people, right? I don't know about you. I'm obsessed with oral health, so I'm always brushing my teeth. I always have holes in my mouth because I'm obsessed with oral health. And so I notice these things. <laughs> and I'm telling you, rich, broke, poor, in between, people have these problems, no matter how much money they have, right? And if you want to go a step further, they all die. No matter how much money you have, you are going to die. So you can't be that godlike, can you? So why the heck am I going to be afraid of you? They're normal. So just go talk to them. I'm not the kind of person to go violent, like go start conversations. People just talk to me. And it's because I, I don't know, I think I, so I smile. I make an intentional effort to smile because I have a resting B face and I know that. So I always make an intentional effort to smile because I'm really not upset. It's just my face. So I'll be like. <laughs> that would be me in public. And I guess for the seat, I just want to talk to me. I don't know. But what I used to do, people would say hi to me and I just say hi in a very I don't want to talk to you kind of way. Not because I don't want to talk to them, but because I'm shy. But now, like, I just, you know, I prolong the conversation. So they'll be like, they'll say something about my coffee and I'll ask them something about their coffee and then we'll just talk. You know, you should probably do that. Don't be afraid. Put yourself in positions to meet these people so that you can be inspired. Steve Harvey once said that, which I don't 100% agree with, but I somewhat agree with it, is he said one time that you should save up as much money as possible to fly first class if you want, because then when you see how first class is, you're going to be like, I have to do this all the time. And so you're going to put in the effort to increase your income to be able to afford this kind of lifestyle. Right? The reason why I don't really agree. I agree because his mindset is right in that when you see how the other half lives, you're going to be inspired to want to pay yourself. But the reason why I don't agree is because some people will just put it on my credit card and then just be in debt. 
<laughs> some people will not do the work to get the money just go be that just to fly first class right but if you have the mindset that's something that you can do too but anyway guys i hope these five things help you if you want me to do more i can do more i have more but i'm just capping it to five so you can let me know how you feel about the tips that i've given to you in this video don't forget to like subscribe comment and share <laughs> i'll see you next week